Hey there, LEGO fans. Welcome back. Alex and Josh here with you. Today we visited our local LEGO store and picked up the new NASA Apollo 11 Lunar Lander that was released this month. Uh, this is set 10266, retails for 100 US dollars and has 1,000 and 87 pieces. Uh, this of course celebrating 50 years since man first landed on the moon. It's pretty crazy. It's been 50 years already. And if I play my cards right, I'll still be around for the 100 year anniversary. And if I'm still doing these uh, Lego uploads on YouTube, I'll be sure to reference this video, which will be quite old if that does happen. <laughs> we'll see. So stick around. Uh, we get this little freebie set, this little rocket ride that Josh is going to put together for us uh, when you spend $99 or more. And what's kind of cool is they throw in this uh, Apollo Lunar Lander patch uh, when you buy this particular set. So nice to get those little freebies when you make this purchase. Uh, we'll go ahead and get this thing built, do a quick review, and see if we can find a good spot for it somewhere here in maybe the office or downstairs. Let's go ahead and get started. The Lunar Lander is complete, and this took probably a little under two hours uh, to complete from start to finish. But uh, it's, you know, looking at it, uh, when you say that this is a spacecraft, it's not the first thing that pops in your head when you think about spacecraft. The, usually something like the uh, Saturn V rocket comes to your mind, right? Um, but no, this, is a, this is a pretty good build, and let me go ahead and just remove the... Uh, Lander here itself. Let's take a look at the surface of the Lego moon here. As you can see, they did a lot of uh, dark bluish gray elements here, a combination of both tiles and plates, and some light gray elements there. Got a big crater there just off center in the middle. And here we have some Lego Man uh, prints on the moon. And this is a printed element here at the front, it says Apollo 11 Lunar Lander. Looking underneath this, you can see this is put together by several plates uh, just strung together. And that is the uh, surface of the Lego moon. Looking at the instruction booklet, this will obviously have a lot of information about the moon landing itself, about the race to the moon, which is more of a race uh, between uh, uh, capitalism and uh, communism, in, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, but uh, here it is, a lot of, a lot of fun pictures, um, as well as that uh, famous picture of a boot print on the moon itself, so pretty cool. A lot of information about uh, the the, uh, the set itself. A very unique build. A lot of interesting uh, techniques used, especially with the eight sides and four legs of it. Quite interesting. Uh, I also enjoyed, let me find something here for you guys as I was building this. They have these, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, fun facts, I guess. Uh, so here's one for example. Every so often they'd have this pop up right here and it says, the camera in quadrant four filmed Armstrong as he climbed down the ladder and placed his foot on the moon. So little things like that throughout are kind of fun to see and to read, of course. So, but yeah, there is the instruction booklet and uh, actually it, it's quite thick for a set of just over 1,000 pieces. But like I said, a lot of fun information in there. 
if you are a fan of gold elements, then this is the set for you. Boy, there's a lot of elements that are gold in here. Uh, the, uh, I've never seen this many gold elements in a single set before. Uh, so if you are a fan of that particular element, then this is kind of a gold mine for you, pun intended. Uh, but uh, other than that, I mean, look at this. They did a great job. It looks really good, just like uh, the Lunar Lander itself. Uh, and it has great detail. Now the stickers, I, I think um, eh, there's a decent amount of stickers you can see here. Very shiny stickers, a lot of control panels that are gonna be inside on the top there uh, as well. But uh, yeah, it's a decent amount, what do you expect? But um, like I said, I think the, uh, the printed element right here, I think that was the only printed element was the Apollo 11 Lunar Lander tile here at the front. You get two astronauts with this set, which makes sense. I, they're assumed to be Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, although there's no names on anything that indicates who's who on this. Uh, and the fact that they give them the generic yellow heads makes me think that they're not trying to. They are completely identical, except for the faces are just a little bit different. Our astronaut friends do fit inside. Let me go ahead and take this top part off here. And uh, this is the, uh, the front of it. Well, this is the little hatch doors right there that they would pop out and access the ladder. Let's go down to the moon. Let's go ahead and open that up. Whoops, less this piece there. So here is the uh, interior there. As you can see, our two astronauts are standing up, or, uh, very anxious and willing to get out. Uh, on the surface of the moon. But you can see there's some sticker elements in here. A lot of sticker elements on both sides. They got that wall right there, uh, those two by four tiles uh, on either side as well. Let me go ahead and take uh, one of those guys out. You can see some of those stickers there as well. And if I pop off the back right here, you can see some more stickers revealed on the back part. Um, but no, this is really well put together, I think, and easy to take apart and uh, get your astronauts in and out uh, without it being too much of a hassle. Let's go ahead and put this all back together. And of course, when they are all done uh, playing on the moon and, and whatnot, uh, let me go ahead and see, make sure I can get this beam back on here. And they're ready to go back up to the command module. This thing does pop up just like that, go straight up. And this thing is left on the moon to gather space dust for all eternity. Let's take a closer look at the lander here itself. Love the designer's approach on making all this work. Everything just fits together so perfectly. I love how that looks uh, as you got eight sides and four legs. Everything works out very, very well. It does have a couple of compartments here, one right here that opens up to reveal some equipment and one here just on the other side of the leg. I think this is uh, where we have a camera. There it is. And yeah, everything else, the, the, the legs don't have any give. There's not any kind of you know push rod suspension with it. They are quite rigid. If I push down on this, you'll notice that it doesn't go up or down, anything like that. So that is uh, the landing gear. And, and let me go ahead and just put this thing back on. Let me make sure I get this on the right spot there. Click, click. There we go. And uh, there it is in its entirety. Uh, so that's that, guys. Let me go ahead and just uh, find a spot for this really quick here in the office, and we'll wrap this up. So down here in the basement, I was not not planning on putting this in the city, but I thought, you know, there is that uh, spot in front of the airport that I think it would fit, and it does fit, although I'm, I don't know, it looks a little bit out of place there. I don't know if it's gonna be a permanent spot there for uh, the lunar lander, especially if you uh, notice that it, you've got the Saturn V rocket just behind it, which is the rocket that launches that thing into uh, space in the nose, so definitely not to scale, but hey, you know what, it's, it's, it's all right. It probably does belong on a shelf, which I'll probably end up doing eventually, but uh, for now, I'm gonna have a little fun with it and just uh, keep it right there, I'm reaching as far as I can over my city here to kind of take a look at that. So anyway, uh, so it's, it's there for uh, display for people to remember the 50 year anniversary, there you go, of uh, men landing on the moon. So that's gonna be it for now, guys. Let me know what you guys think of this particular set and the build and uh, where I placed it, which I'm sure I'll get some interesting comments, but that's okay, I welcome those as well. So until next time, guys, you take care and we'll have some more fun stuff again here in the near future. We'll see you. Bye-bye.